Start by clearing the area where you will place the wardrobe after it's assembled. Open the boxes and separate the pieces by type and put the bag of parts and fasteners on a small table nearby for easy access. To complete the assembly of this piece, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and a small hammer. Start the assembly by attaching the hinges to the inside of the left and right sides of the wardrobe. The hinges come apart, but we are leaving them assembled as one piece for this video. Locate the middle divider panel and attach the hinges as well. Next, attach the drawer rails to the middle and right side wardrobe pieces. Attach the clothes bar holder cups to the inside top of the middle and right wardrobe pieces. Next, insert capture screws into all the remaining holes in the left, middle, and right wardrobe pieces. Make sure to screw them in tight at this point. Now, insert the capture screws into the bottom and top wardrobe pieces. Also, attach the door stop plates onto the top wardrobe piece. Remember to tighten the capture screws securely. Now, let's start assembling the main frame of the wardrobe by laying the right side panel on the ground, sliding the shelf pieces over the capture screws in the right side panel, inserting the capture nuts, and tightening them completely to secure the shelves in place. Next, slide the bottom wardrobe piece over the capture screws and secure it in place with the capture nuts. Then, attach the front and rear bottom slats to the bottom wardrobe piece with the capture screws and nuts. Now, line up the middle wardrobe divider and slide it into the bottom panel and attach it to the shelves with the round capture nuts. Next, attach the three rear cross braces to the right and middle wardrobe panels over the capture bolts and secure them using the round capture nuts. Now, attach the horizontal wardrobe divider to the middle wardrobe piece over the capture bolts and secure it in place using the capture nuts. Carefully lift the left wardrobe panel atop the wardrobe bottom, back braces, and horizontal divider, slide it into place over the capture bolts, and once again secure the panel with the round capture nuts. Now, attach the four bottom corner braces and leveling feet to the bottom corners of the wardrobe assembly. Stand the wardrobe upright and insert the clothes pole into its holder cups and attach the wardrobe panel in place over the capture bolts and once again secure the top panel with the round capture nuts. Using the shelf clips, Position the left side shelves into the wardrobe accordingly. Now, take the hinge assembly apart and attach the hinge plates to the one large and two smaller wardrobe doors. Also, attach the door handles to each door panel. Now, carefully attach the left, center, and right wardrobe doors. Turn the assembly around and attach the back bracing panels using the supplied brads. With the wardrobe assembly basically finished, we can begin the drawer assembly 
by screwing two capture screws into the front drawer panel. Then, put a little glue on the wooden dowels and insert them into the front drawer panel as well. Next, put a little glue into the hole in the drawer side panel. Now, line up the capture screws and wooden dowels and fit the drawer side to the drawer front panel. Insert a round capture nut into the drawer side and tighten the nut securely by turning it clockwise. Repeat this process with the other drawer side. Now, slide the drawer bottom into place and attach the back drawer panel to the side panels using the supplied screws. Next, continue the drawer assembly by attaching the side rails to the drawer side panels. Finally, complete the drawer assembly by attaching the front pull handle. Insert the drawers into their rails in the wardrobe and you're done with a minimum of mechanical experience and using everyday